Hey guys, I am Big and Scary. I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 replay, this time featuring in our bottom left hand side, Horizon. I don't think it's, it's not Horizon. I know it's not Horizon. I, I, I don't think it's Horazun. I'm gonna go with Horizon. Horizon is our Grandmaster Zerg, and our bottom left and our top right we have Forsaken or Forsake NXE, depending on your pronunciation. He is our Masters Terran. Uh, High Masters, High Masters, it's like 30 Seed Masters, and then I'm not 100% sure where Hor Horizon uh, falls in the echelon of Grand Masters, but probably low if he's paired against uh, Forsaken, which is, you know, High Masters, so it's going to be an absolutely fantastic game is what I'm trying to tell you. Great game. Neo Planet S is our uh, map, which is one of the reasons why I think it's going to be a great game. It's really favors two base play. Very narrow choke leading into the natural. Very narrow choke leading up into the main. And then the thirds are super duper exposed. This is a traditional third. Uh, you've got some destructible debris on the left side. You can throw up some supply depots here. If you're Terran, uh, not much you can do if you're Zerg except for expand like crazy. Uh, and, you know, that's absolutely a fantastic decision that you can do. Beginning to stack up just a little bit of resources horizon is uh it probably going to be thinking about throwing down a hatchery sooner rather than later uh even this map is deceptively large the straightaway pathway between one base and the other would tell you that it's probably not a good idea to go hatch first however you have to take a circular pathway into the base of your opponent you have to go around the two high yield mineral lines that are in the center of the map and because of that it takes a lot longer by way of ground rush distance than you would expect uh, and actually horizon is spinning his uh, overlord kind of in a weird pathway down here to the bottom right and he's going to be scouting off all the potential locations for a uh, proxy racks that could be coming out of horizon sometimes you'll see it up here usually i put it up here sometimes you'll see it over here but i, I never do that uh, but it's also going to stack him up very nicely up on this high uh, ramp and allow him to do some late scouting of the mineral line down here in the natural and it looks like the barracks is being positioned just to the left of that natural choke allowing him to pop out a reaper and send it off down to get some nice scouting potential and all he's going to be doing is seeing that the hatchery is indeed being constructed down at the natural spawning pool has also been started pretty much going to be finishing at the exact same time as the hatchery gas is beginning to mine just now for horizon and we can see that the gas income has actually been pretty steady since that first reaper popped off command center being constructed on the low ground second reaper is now underway or are we still on the first i wonder yeah we're still on the first but he's got enough gas to start a second one as soon as it finishes off. Two queens being produced, and both of them will be finishing at about the same time that Reaper uh, does get over here. Like I said, it is a deceptively long uh, rush distance for that Reaper. On a lot of the smaller maps, this Reaper, with the timing that Forsaken is using, will probably be hitting right whenever... Um, the queens are about halfway done, uh, but because of the large map size in this one, this the queens will actually be popping out right before the Reaper actually gets in there, which is a major plus for Horizon because he's going to be able to deny the scouting a lot more than you traditionally would expect. Reaper has no problem dealing with Zerglings, though, and with the queen kind of tethered to that creep, uh, it's definitely not going to be able to take out that Re Oh my goodness, he totally did! <laughs> totally surprised by that. Uh, usually, I mean, the... Reapers are so easy to keep alive. You just kind of go over to the ledge and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, however, we do see a second Reaper coming in. And in reality, these Reapers really are not being sent over to take out a bunch of drones. What they're being sent over for is scouting uh, to see the mineral line saturation here, to see the gas timing here. Uh, that's totally what Forsaken is using them for. And he saw what he needed to see. He saw that first gas was still being mined. He knows that speed is at least on the way, if not already done. Uh, and he didn't see a lair being morphed, so he's, he's probably going to be having to deal with that sooner rather than later. And he can progress down the traditional pathway that he wants to progress down. He's got a reactor already being used for the factory. The barracks is repositioning to build up a tech lab. And a third command center is being added on to the one back at home. His reaper is going to skinny on home. And oh, wow, look at this. Double Evo Chamber, small little gap on the south side, which can be shored up by the Queen. He is not going to have any issue at all against those Hellions. The issue is going to be that he's up against a Terran that's on two base with a macro command center. He's going to need to take some sort of economic edge. Traditionally, that would be a third base, but you get this third base here, 
and those Hellions and Reapers have absolutely free reign of your drones. Uh, it takes like three queens to totally lock this place down and not have to worry about the harassment. Uh, and you can do that or you can invest in some spines early on. And e one way or another, you're going to be losing quite a lot of money that you want to be spending on something else to deal with this harassment. Four Hellions and a Reaper wants it to be two Reapers, but it's just one moving out for Forsaken's home base. With that, the uh, wall off has been f finished. I like this move here, f stopping the uh, supply depot from being constructed and starting the other one, just to make it so that that Zergling run by cannot happen. Third has not even been started. Roach Warren is going down as well as the lair. No creep spread to speak of between one base or another, and this gap is totally wide open compared to you know, if you're if you're considering the uh, the zerglings, those zerglings are going to have to try for a surround on those hellions, but there's not nearly enough of them, and there's also not enough creep to allow the queens to uh, safely engage them. Even though plus one plus one is on the way, plus one range specifically, which is absolutely fantastic because the last couple of games that I've casted that had a uh, zerg in them went to ultralisk as quickly as possible, and I love to see plus one range. I love to see roaches. I love hydralisks more than anything else. I think they're my favorite unit, and I really want to see them in this one. Nine roaches on the production tab, and this is because Horizon knows that he's kind of cramped right now. He knows it's going to be very difficult for him to take a third without some way to deal with the harassment of afforded by those Hellions and the Reapers. Um, and wow, this Reaper once again being super ballsy, but it looks like Horizon's going to be a little second too late. Oh no, it's totally cornered. It's going to go down. Oh no, it goes down. That poor Reaper. Three Hellions still on the uh, map, and that map control definitely is in the favor of uh, Forsaken. He's got to be feeling absolutely fantastic. His economy is booming with that third command center. It's going to be a little while before he feels comfortable in taking out that third, but it's also going to be a little while before For uh, Horizon feels comfortable to take out that third. Even with these roaches on the field, they're very slow and ponderous, and uh, Neo Planet S is a pretty wide open map. You do get surrounds. You do have to engage those marines in clusters, and with this wall off here, this is definitely an intimidating force to behold. <laughs> Widow Mines being added into the mix, and we've seen how incredibly successful they are against Zerglings, not against Roaches, though. Six more Roaches, this is definitely going to be a Roach all-in push, uh, and when I say all-in, he's going to have to do a significant amount of damage because the uh, harvester count has begun to fall in the favor of Forsaken, 53 over 45 right now. That third base is only just now getting started as these roaches begin to poke up to the front door. I like the starting of the third base. I like the starting of the spire, making it so that these roaches don't have to do nearly as much damage as you would expect from a push of this magnitude. Remember that there is another swell of roaches. Since the glial reconstitution has finished, two spine crawler, two supply depots have gone down completely making it so that these roaches do have enough uh, room to kind of squeeze in, but with the widow mine discharging on a couple of the roaches in the forefront, and with that overseer being so incredibly close to death, uh, he's got to be very careful. Without detection, these widow mines are going to chew through those roaches, do quite a lot of damage. Eight more roaches, uh, drones on the production tab, plus two armor, plus one melee, uh, as well as the spine crawler. Another hatchery, but that's one's going to be a macro hatchery right here on the minimap. Uh, and it looks like he's just kind of buying time until that spire gets done. He's beginning to tank to tank a little bit of gas, uh, just kind of save it up. Wants to get in there. Man, he's just picking apart that wall, being so incredibly cost-effective. I'd love to see Burrow added into this mix so that these guys could regenerate a little bit of hit points uh, so very, very briskly. However... However, incredibly cost-effective. we got centrifugal hooks on the way. I think this is going to be a bit of a transition into that more traditional mutilisk and uh, zergling uh, composition that we've seen. Creep spread has been kicked up into overdrive now, spreading off in either direction. It looks like he's taken a fourth in the uh, top left corner, so the third has been taken and is beginning to get saturated. There goes that static defenses, and all of a sudden, Horizon is uh, in a very commanding lead. However, Forsaken, realizing that he's got a superior force, at least to these roaches, begins to push out, and with 13 drones on the production tab, uh, it looks like Horizon just blew a load of uh, of larva. He's not going to be able to re-macro. He's not going to be able to produce an army capable of dealing with this, but centrifugal hooks will be done in just a couple of seconds. Plus two armor will be done pretty soon. Plus one melee will be done pretty soon. Ten mutilisks are on the production tab, but I don't think that's going to come in handy in this uh, coming engagement. I think he's going to have to rely on zerglings. He's going to have to rely on banelings, and he's got a really nice creep spread, and his roaches are again poking at the front door, so yeah, the third is probably going to go down, even with the spines there, but the roaches will be able to barrel through and get to the mineral line and start doing 
doing some damage, even though it's very slight amount of damage with only just a handful of those roaches remaining alive. Some of the mutilisks go down as they try to escape from the marines. Hatchery definitely goes down, but the pseudo wall off back at home is protected by banelings as well as mutilisks. The roaches have been cleaned up by the marines and marauders back at home. Switch over to the upgrade tab plus one all across the board now goes to plus two for the armor but the marines are fully upgraded here comes the banelings but the banelings blow on top of the marauders and only zerglings and mutilisks are left and the mutilisks begin to get absolutely cut down oh my goodness that is so incredibly fortunate for forsake that those uh those marines just pulling back like that making it so that the um banelings blew up on top of the marauders tanking so much damage the aoe uh left all of those marines pretty much completely unscathed really excellent play from forsaken uh, and unfortunately for him the marines that were left alive could have absolutely no issue at all in dealing a death blow to those uh mutilisks here comes another huge wing of marines and marauders from the right side and it looks like all of the forces from horizon has to pull back and he has absolutely nothing to answer back to this with only three bases one of which wasn't even saturated uh in the top left hand side i wonder why he kept doing long distance mining here because these guys were about to get cut to pieces by these marines i think what horizon was uh, expecting was for uh, forsaken to pull back and not have to worry about a, a second push from that he'd be able to re-macro get up that unit composition that he wanted to but unfortunately for him forsaken knew exactly when he had a force that was capable of crushing the roaches that he had camping the front door and once he had that force he just kept pushing with that aggression i thought it was a great play by horizon to push back at the front door whenever um whenever those that large standing force left uh i don't think he did enough damage how many resources seven workers killed that's not bad at all actually especially considering that's half of the uh half of the mineral lines that Forsaken was mining off of at the time being, but that got cleaned up with little to no effort from Forsaken, and then uh, his macro just kicked right back into gear, and we can see that this was all. these are all units that were produced post uh, that first push-out, and uh, that's the difference maker right there. Uh, I feel bad for that 14 drones that were being produced right whenever this push-out was beginning. I think that might have been the censure there. That was pretty cool. You guys are pretty cool because you watch my videos. If you have a game you want me to cast, you could PM me here or on Reddit. One way or another, I will see you guys later. I am big and scary.